Hi yes, this video is on a simple term to understand Six Sigma or standard deviation. So when you see this data in a normal term, how do you understand what is a standard deviation? The standard deviation is a difference between the number of samples, the deviation in each. So let me show you with an example. So how to stand? find the formula of standard deviation so I'm going to take this as 1.53 and 4.5 so mean is the average so equal to average so the average is 3 but this is an average but standard deviation you can see is 1.5 the deviation within each units so in normal terms how you do is you have to divide x by the mean which is this it's a formula in f4 so you can see so this answer should always be a zero when you calculate this so alt equals to some when you hit answer it should be zero so x minus x square so square of this is going to be this into shift 6 2 and I break it down so this is the variance so this is the variance now the formula for the variance is I'm going to tell you how is some number of things here divided by divided by the mean but this has to be n minus 1 so this is for the population so it has to be 3 minus 1 but it's a both mass formula so you have to apply bracket so this is the this is the variance so now to check the st square root of the uh, standard deviation we have to square this so it can be the same you can do square root square root of this is 1.5 now instead of doing all those things if you want to check the variance of this answer instead of doing this dividing and all this stuff and this is for the sample test, sample sample variance for s is sample so instead of typing this formula you can just write a simple formula variance dot s so variance dot s and just write this so the parenthesis so you can see the answer is the same and the square root of this and this will be the same if you want the square root so standard deviation is 1.5 now you can get the answer here instead of doing all this you can just simply go to standard deviation on samples and just select this thing and close the parenthesis so you can see the standard so this is the sigma level is the standard deviation in simple terms standard deviation is a deviation between this so if i change the numbers to 2 4 6 we can see the deviation is 2 2 2 so the standard deviation is 2 if i want to change it to 5 10 and 15 we can see it is, it is going to be 5 the standard deviation will be 5 you can see the standard deviation now if i want to change this to 10 also 10 20 and 30 the standard deviation is 10 so in simple terms standard deviation or six sigma means the deviation in the number of items 
I hope you, this, you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. I'm going to show you the next video the standard deviation in population and the variance in population and standard deviation in population and sample. The difference in that. Thank you very much.